Hey, it's David here from Danny's Wine and Beer, and today I'm going to talk to you about Champagne Yeast. Champagne Yeast, also known as EC1118-1118 by Lavalin, is by far, that's what we sell, is one of the best yeast to use for any home winemaking uh, endeavor. Whether it be from fruit wines, ciders, to uh, kit wines, they are fantastic to use because they are just workhorses. They work in a lot of different variations and temperatures, and they uh, drop really well after fermentation is done. So if you're looking for yeast, this is the way to go. The compromise of this, so that's like the pros. The cons of a champagne yeast, it does end up being a little, little, little bit drier of a fermentation, so you're going to end up with a bit more drier wine. That being said, you can also back sweeten or cut the fermentation sooner. Um, and that also leaves for some of the flavor profiles maybe to have been missed or the subtleties of aromas to be missed uh, when you're fermenting with such a strong, good yeast. Uh, that being said, those are like the minor things. But if it's your first time doing it, champagne yeast, no problemo. You'd be happy with the results. So how do you use it? How do you use champagne yeast? You basically add one gram per gallon. That being said, you can also just add this, you know, I would even put half into a gallon and I would not be worried about it if I, or even, you know, there's five grams in here. So don't be too worried about uh, it over pitching too, too much, but uh, you're not going to get like a crazy yeasty taste. Uh, so, so just be aware of that and then go to the variation side of, I've put pitches in for 23 liters, which is about six gallons. So five grams in, technically I should be having six grams. Uh, it still works. So just be aware that the variation that's the recommended dosage doesn't mean that uh you know stick with the recommended if you want but if you're at the one gallon mark i would add two grams instead of one gram that's for sure uh, just to be sure and how you do this is you actually pitch the yeast into some warm water you're looking around uh 35 to 37 degrees celsius which is about 95 to 98 fahrenheit and you're gonna add about 20 mils of warm water uh sorry 50 mils of warm water two ounces and you're going to leave it there. You can stir it slowly for about 20 minutes. And then from there, you're going to get like this, this yeast um, ball. And then you're going to put that into uh, the, uh, the must of whatever you're making, whether it be cider or, or uh, juice from grapes or fruits. And then you're going to leave it there for, you're going to put that into about, uh, into a, a warm area around 15 to 20 Celsius which is uh, 70 Fahrenheit around there. So you want to be a basically room temperature and you're going to leave it there for about seven to 14 days, depending on how the fermentation goes. If it's bubbling, you know, it's still fermenting. If it's stopped bubbling, you know, it's done. That's basically don't overthink it and keep it simple. If it's bubbling, keep it going. If it's not bubbling, then it's done. Don't get too worried about uh, that. You know, obviously you're gonna have a hydrometer. You're gonna test it out too. But that's just a general rule of thumb instead of you opening, closing, opening, closing, and and looking at it every every single time. So hopefully this helps on what champagne yeast is, how to use it, and where to use it, whether it's be ciders, grapes, or other fruit wines. All the best.